Thanks for choosing to view this NetIQ Cloud Marketplace tutorial. In this video, we're going to show you how to configure or customize the workloads associated with a customer's organization to provide a realistic quote of costs. Because you can show the changing costs of a workload while you're customizing it, whether in real time on the iPad app interface or with a quick PDF quote received by email, Cloud Marketplace can be a very valuable sales tool. It creates realistic quote scenarios as fast as you can customize them. Let's assume that you've started a new quote for our client, Pam Johnson, but you didn't get around to customizing the available workloads. If the quote wasn't saved, you'll see this prompt, which gives you a shortcut directly to the quote. But if you partially configured the quote and then saved it, you can find it again in your quotes list. Let's suppose that's the case and go ahead and find that new quote and start customizing it. Here on the home page, just tap My Quotes to get started. There's the quote I'm working on, Red Shoes Web Services. I'll just tap it to give you a look at where I am. Because I'm returning to the quote, this becomes my default landing page. Cloud Marketplace assumes I want to continue tweaking the workloads in the quote. The editing functionality available here is just the same as if you were customizing your workloads immediately after creating a new quote. Here you see the names of the workload templates you've selected for the quote already. You can select these workloads from the list individually to customize them, or you can open the cart and see the workloads available for selection along with their individual and collective costs in the quote. The nice thing about having the cart open while you're working on customizing is the option of adding more workloads from the catalog. or generating a PDF with the official quote shown in a report. We'll talk more about that report in a minute. Now let's customize just one of these workloads to show you what's available. Let's say Microsoft IIS 7.0. The cost of the individual workload changes as you customize that workload. For each workload you can change the service level, Choose a package of resources for a set contract length to provide the client with a discount, allocate more resources, or add services and applications. Let's begin by choosing a service level for this workload. These levels indicate the level of availability or the level of service that the customer wants for the workload. Although some information about these levels is provided, you can drill down for more details. Particularly cost details. If the service level and its costs fit the customer's needs, you can select it here, or if you forget to do that, you can select the level you want on the customization page. Now let's configure a resource pricing package for the workload. These are package discounts that the cloud administrator configures to make a set term contract more economical for the customer to purchase. Again, you can choose to see more details of a pricing package. It's discount prices in particular. This example shows that the administrator has created a package that lets you opt out of any contracted resources, but usually that means higher resource prices. Pam needs more computing power and a one-year contract that fits her needs, so I've selected the medium package. Resource allocation is exactly what it sounds like, a place to customize the virtual computing resources of the workload. As you move these sliders to change the allocations, there are a couple of things you should be aware of. First, when you customize the allocations beyond their default, the costs are adjusted to the configuration you choose.
Next, if you want to set a computing resource back to its default allocation later, you'd move the slider all the way to the left to reset it. This next section lets you add services or applications to the workload. The UI shows the purpose and costs of these add-ons. But again, you can find out more by tapping More Details. This could be useful, for example, if you want to check if an available add-on application includes any licensing fees and its costs. When you've configured all of the workloads to the satisfaction of the client, you're ready to produce a PDF that the client can have for his future consideration. Just tap Generate PDF to create a printable, mailable PDF that you can also open in Safari if you want to. The report PDF includes a cost breakdown for each of the workloads you've added to the quote. Any of the quotes from Cloud Marketplace are provided as estimates only and are subject to the terms and conditions of the sale. When you return to the home page, Marketplace reminds you that you have been working on a quote and it asks how you want to proceed with that quote. The cart remains open to provide easy access to the quote if you want to customize it further. Now don't be confused by this. All of your quote changes are actually saved dynamically. But until you start working on another quote, Marketplace assumes that you want to continue working on the quote in progress, even if you log out. So, if you're satisfied with the customizations you've made for the quote, you can tap the New Quotes icon on the home page, then tap Save Quote to begin a new quote, and then start creating a new quote. Well, we're out of time, but I want to show you one more thing about a quote. Remember that it's going to be included in the list of all the quotes you've created. From this list, you can open a quote to work on it again, or you can delete it entirely. It's time to log off. If you want more information about creating a quote or a client, you can find that information in other NetIQ Cloud Marketplace videos. Thanks for joining us.